Oprah's book club, Reese Witherspoon's book club. Both are celebrity-backed reading lists, complete with their own seal of approval. And while there are many lesser-known book clubs, there's one gaining popularity in Massachusetts, The Bad Bee Book Club. The Bad Bee Book Club is a virtual book club that meets up several times a month to discuss books across a variety of genres. In 2018, Mackenzie Newcomb founded the Bad B Book Club. Her selection criteria is simple. Books must be written by women. I wanted to uplift and support other women, and I figured the best way to do so and ensure their monetary success was to encourage people to buy their books. But things have changed, and we are now open to non-binary authors. And actually, last week, we had our first ever meeting with a man. Now, this virtual club has grown into a virtual community with roughly 7,000 members. Our book club meets somewhere between seven to 10 times a month. Of those meetings, a lot of them are genre specific. Romance, celebrity memoirs, thrillers, self-help, comics, activism. There are more than 20 subgroups from which to choose. We have members all over the country and of all ages. Absolutely anyone can find their place in this book club and they're more than welcome and you can definitely read with us. Newcomb reads 15 to 20 books a month. When selecting a book of the month, she says representation matters. People were kind of taking inventory of what their diversity looked like in their companies. I was able to look back at the book selections that we had chosen and I saw that we had already Exactly 50% of our book selections had been written by people of color. And I was like, okay, great. We're starting off in a good spot and we can continue to get better from here. By choosing books by authors with diverse backgrounds, Newcomb hopes the book club selections will broaden members' minds and encourage them to read and learn more. Knowing that I've been able to contribute so much to people's lives in the last year and help them feel less lonely and more connected and find a sense of community through the book club and through books, has just been enormously fulfilling. Caroline Kautziri is a local author who says it took a long time to see the value of her different perspective. I struggled when I was young to fit into cultural norms, cultural expectations for young girls in Malawi. I think one of the things I wanted to do was to open the conversation of how awkward it can be to grow up how confusing it can be to grow up, especially in a society where women are expected to be shy and submissive and passive. I was the opposite of that. Her new memoir is aptly titled, What Kind of Girl? This book is really about being different and still trying to find your identity to understand it. I started high school when I was nine years old. I went to boarding school. I was very excited about being an adult. Count Siri dreamed of coming to America and becoming a famous actress. Her parents had other plans. Boston is a place where there's a lot of universities. Because there are a lot of universities, my parents thought it was a good place to go. So I went to Quincy College and UMass Boston for my bachelor's in English. I continued to Brown University where I studied English literature further. And I went to Emerson and got my Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing. At just 22 years old, she became an English professor at Bunker Hill Community College. But after a few years, she felt lost. I was 27 years old, living in America. Everybody thinks, wow, she's got it made. I was feeling very empty. And I decided to go back to Malawi because something was missing. Documenting her journey, Kautziri says that trip back home to Malawi helped her connect to her past. I was questioning my identity. I'm this young professor, but who was I before I became a young professor? So documenting this was my way of coming to terms with myself. Now at 34 years old, Kautziri is excited for people to read her memoir and satisfied that she found a way to pursue her creative side. Writing can be a very lonely thing to do, but if this is your calling, if this is your purpose, you will do it. You're bearing your heart to the whole world, and that's a very remarkable thing. We can change the world using our voice. We can start conversations that are necessary for us to know in the world. 
Caroline tells us she's already written a sequel called Some Kind of Girl and is in the process of getting that published. In addition to teaching at Bunker Hill Community College, she also participates in community theater. And Caroline tells us she is also raising money to send copies of her book to her home country. She says she simply must bring a story that is set in Malawi to Malawi. Up next, make way for ducklings in costume. <laughs>